Let Japan show you please rise to welcome our excellent city. The model of the states, our first lady, and a proud eighth student of this institution, Dr. Mrs. Betsy Epaseki. Ladies and gentlemen, can you make some noise? As it goes round to felicitate with the existing students and of course, and of course, all the alumni also to join the I respectfully invite the Secretary to the Government of Edo State of Saradiongi Esquire. We'll also invite on this table the principal of this great institution, Mrs. Osabundi Abeyagedo, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Eyano Patai Williams, Mrs. We also invite very warmly Mrs. Omo, Mrs. Anao, and of course, Honorable Princess Mrs. Philomena Eye, Mrs. Abata Ayu, all guests of Our Excellency at this very wonderful and historic event. We also warmly welcome every other personality to please. Get ready for the opening formalities. Our traditional leaders, we welcome you. We appreciate your presence. The head commissioner and all other members of the State Executive Council. The children will be leading us in the national anthem and the Edo anthem shortly. Once we can confirm that we are set to go, the wife of the speaking speaker of the endorsed House of Assembly, Mrs. Sharif Akbebaku, we warmly welcome you too. And we thank you for being here. The Great Olympia, Chairman, Sports Commission of those states, Yusuf Ali, is also in the house. And those state market woman leader, Blakio Biane. Is here, and of course, all are very wonderful. Yeki. So, ladies and gentlemen, history has been made again today. Barrister Mrs. Ulo Zane, we welcome you, we thank you. The Executive Secretary, Dr. Mosigo Zedome, of the Adosted Primary Healthcare Development Agency. We appreciate you a great deal. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem will be led by the students of the Federal Government Gates College, Benin. <laughs> Anthem. 
made popular by a student of this great institution who today is the first lady of Edo. May I respectfully invite Reverend Dr. Mrs. Christian Jemoran, our mommy in the Lord, to please get set to lead the opening prayer after the school's anthem. We are in a school setting, and so the school anthem is law for them here. Shall we please honor them? I'm sure the old student will also join them in singing their at school anthem. Shall we please rise for the school's anthem? It's in the program so you can sing along. It's in the program so you can sing along. On page three. together for that. DJ Music. Would you dance if I asked you to dance? Would you run?
them together without the instruments. We are going to sing it. Can you put your hands together for that? You can't repeat the original. That is the original version with the boys. So DJ, give us a snatch of music as we invite our mommy and the Lord for the opening. When we are gathered, the breathing also is given to us by him. And so let's respectfully stand before the I am that I am. Heavenly Father, we thank you for a day such as this. It has been written in the record of life that today this wonderful auspicious program will be held in this place we say thank you we give you the praise we give you the glory thank you lord because the woman that you have lifted up is a breed of this school and today we are proud to celebrate her person as the air student of this wonderful college that has raised up women, girls that have become women, women that have become leaders, leaders that are speaking right into the people's life. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, oh God, that this program from the beginning to the end 
He shall be led and controlled by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for everyone present, for everyone that is seeing this glory. More glory shall be experienced in this place. In the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, I stand as your ambassador to declare open the official launching of the clinic of FGGC in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. And let other people of God shout it very loud. Amen. Can we give her a round of applause again? DJ Snatch of Music. Applause for our Father, for our leader, the Honorable Commissioner for Health, Dr. Sadr Ali, the Honorable Commissioner for Fiscal Planning, Urban and Regional Development of those states, Honorable Isaka Omar, the Honorable Commissioner for Education, here represented by Dr. Shalad Mukola, please make welcome, the Executive Secretary. A new state primary healthcare development agency, Dr. Masibo Izeku. We also like to warmly appreciate the presence of the chairman of the board of trustees, Yano Fatai Williams, Mrs. For the Bad Old Girls Association. Please applaud her. The works of our hero past can never be in vain. And that is where we have these two wonderful mummies. Mrs. Omo, Paulia Vice Principal for the Foundation Sex, who wrote that wonderful anthem. And of course, wife of former Honorable Commissioner for Education at that time. Ladies and gentlemen, please warmly welcome her. She never ever grows old. 
evergreen. And next to her is another very wonderful mummy. This is Anao, the longest serving tutor of this great institution. Why, Bothoma, Vice Chancellor of the Great University of Benin. We appreciate your presence here. Princess Mrs. Philomena Heye, former special advisor to Mr. Governor. And now, political advisor to Mr. Governor. Please put your hands together for her. We appreciate your presence here today. Engineer Austin Busakwe, Public Building and Maintenance Agency, ED, we appreciate you. Olivian Yusuf Ali, Chairman Sports Commission, Echo State. And of course, the CEO that built this very wonderful edifice, a great contractor in whom we are very well pleased. Ladies and gentlemen, let's appreciate the Managing Director of Glatrico International Limited, Eric Edelzenek. Now, the principal herself will be welcomed by the PRO of the school and all the staff. Can we please put our hands together for the school PRO? Hi, sir. The First Lady of the State, Dr. Mrs. Bessie Obaseki, we have in our midst also Barrister Osaridio Ogi, representing the Governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki. All protocols duly observed. My name is Mrs. Bolanle Oluesu, the Deputy Director of the Federal Ministry of Education. I'll be introducing the management team of this great college. We want to appreciate our excellence for this great work we have done for this great college. You can see the children are happy, they are beaming with smiles, they are excited because this is about the best of the Unity Schools in Nigeria. We are proud to say that. Sitting closely to our Excellency is my direct principal, our director principal, your director principal, a daughter of the soil, a woman that has oil in her head, a woman with great things is happening in her time machine. Join in as a welcome, Mrs. Osamu Diame Agedo. A good round of applause for the director principal of this great college. Please don't get appreciate our principal. She's still your principal. We also have here the vice principal association, Pastor Vitalis Equique. Please, if you are here, stand for recognition. A big round of applause for him. We also have the vice principal academic senior school, Mr. Dennis. In a money. A big round of applause for him. We also have the Vice Principal Student Affairs, Mrs. Dokas Ahibe. A big round of applause for her. We also have the Vice Principal Student Affairs, Mrs. Inagata Ekata. You are welcome. You are welcome. We also have in our midst the Vice Principal Special Duties, Mrs. Justina Ahana. You are welcome. We also have our Deputy Directors, our Assistant Directors, the Head of Departments. Time will not permit me to mention your name after the other. I say you are all welcome. I say you are all welcome. I say you are all welcome. Today is a great day. Today is a remarkable day in the life and times of LGGC Benefit. What we are witnessing here today is not found among 114 unity schools in Nigeria. This is the only place we have, we have a standard, international standard, primary health care. Donated to us by our own mother, the mother of the college, the mother of the city, a woman that will not sit down until she sees the girl child happy, not humiliated, not harassed, a wonderful woman, Iye Nogebe. You are welcome, ma. Mommy, mommy, we love you. Mommy, mommy, we love you. Mommy, mommy, we love you. 
bless you. I'm sure you are very excited now. Please applaud her. Thank you very much. Permit me to also acknowledge and welcome my Lord, the Honorable Justice M. Isweli. Please make welcome. She's an old girl and of course legal advisor. Please applaud her. You can see that your students are everywhere all over the world and they're doing so well. Our traditional leaders are here today. The Nogi of Ukwera, Israel Highness. Ladies and gentlemen, please your hands together for Israel Highness. The RF Forba of Benin Kingdom, Chief Emi Ogai Ibada is also here. Please applaud him. We also warmly welcome the Market Woman Association Chairman, Madam Blacky Ogiame. And of course, the President Egon, Local Government Market Association, Madam C.I. Okamina. All the Teddy Ben alumni, can you celebrate yourself? They are here in their numbers. And of course, the current students of the school, are you here? Congratulations for being recipients of this very laudable initiative, the launch of the FGGC Clinic Benin City. We also specially welcome the entourage of Our Excellency to this great event. Can you please applaud all of them? We appreciate all of you, we warmly welcome all of you, we thank you for being part of this very historic event. The children will be coming to welcome us with cultural dance. Let's applaud them as they take the stage. They are indeed very happy. And you can see that the state of the art clinic with manpower and indeed all amenities that will ensure that our children here are safe. So please. FGGC students, your cultural performance is now. Please let's welcome them on stage with a round of applause. My dear. Oh, 
cultural performance by wonderful amazing students of this school i like us to welcome the principal mrs agado sabudiame for her welcome address your hands together for her please Your Excellency, the Governor of Edo State, our Governor, Governor Godwin Obaseki, here represented by the Secretary to the Government of Edo State, our own First Lady, Our Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Betsy Obaseki, the Permanent Secretary of the Federal Ministry of Education, who is an old girl of this school. We also have the, the BOT Chairperson, Commissioner of Education, another Commissioner from Edo State here present. Please permit me to stand Order, order of protocol. It's a privilege and great honor on behalf of staff and students of this nation to attend this welcome to the Thank you. 
Yes, my people. This one I will do two. Get two words. This one two. Two word one. Then tolerate everything. We thank God for this great job. God bless Her Excellency, Doctor Mrs. Besti of Basaki. Now this is a wonderful kitchen. Come, you see the kitchen. This is beautiful. You see, beautiful. We are happy. So guys, share this video. Let our people see. This is what we call primary health care. See, and clean. See, beautiful. You can see, so beautiful. Wow. See, this is what one. This is what one. You see what one. You can see so beautiful. You can see we are happy. Then, this is one of the consulting room. You can see. So the governor have done excellently well. So you know, say governor wife. Now this school she go. So she's giving back to her uh, performance school, which is our mama mater. So we they encourage other mama mater go back to your school. See how you feel also contribute your own quarter to the growth and development of that school. So we know if we leave government, may they do everything. When we God don't bless, be a blessing to your community, be a blessing to your former school. Very, very important. So guys, this one I word one. We get what two now, two what they can see so beautiful that some of our students. Guess how you doing? Do you love this place? Yeah. Yeah, bring your camera, let me interview one of my beautiful girls. So just hold the mic. Please bring your camera. So introduce yourself and tell us, uh, I don't know where we are, but you know. Okay, my name is Osayim Gary Dressing Wino, sir. I'm a student of this great prestigious college, Federal Gomez Girls College, Benin. This is our new health care center, no longer called Sick Bay, primary health care center. It's so beautiful. I love it. Like, I love it. No more. Mom, sick, I'm sick. Now we have well trained nurses and daughters. Thank you, Ma. We love you. I hope you will not be telling your mom you are sick just to come and hide you. No, Ma. No, sir. <laughs> Hope you don't tell teacher you are sick because you want to come and relax. No, sir. Okay, let me hear from Abitu. So introduce yourself. My name is Obaze Obosa Blessed, a student. I'm an SS2. Okay, this new facility, like, it's very beautiful, it's nice, it's fantastic. Like, I'm very happy, I'm grateful. Thanks to Betty, the wife of Pe um, I just said governor. Well, I'm grateful, I will love you. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. So we still have another beautiful student here. So she's still going to tell her, tell us. Please tell us your experience. Just hold the mic. Look um, at my name is Edokwa Iwarobu, sir. I'm in SS1. I'm so happy to be here. This place is so beautiful. It's no longer Sick Bay. This is Primary Health Center. Primary Health Care Center. So I like the way she has done everything. Like she's just the best. We love her. You know. On behalf of my school, I'm saying a very big thank you to her. She, she, she has done a lot for us. Thank you. Thank you. So, guys, we are happy. Let's go. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so, guys, let's go back to the commissioning. Let's go back. Thank you. Order. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. So. Bless you all. Jesus. May I now invite... The robotic team of this great college, they have a short presentation for Her Excellency and all the members of our team on hydrophonics, agricultural sustainable development, otherwise known as conservation of water. A big round of applause for them. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to bring me to Betty Obaseki. My name is Sado Alessi Peculiar, and with me is Ekosi Abushel Luisa. I'm up with the ISSR. I'm in the GV on our detail. The project here with me is called Hydroponics Gardening. Firstly, what is hydroponics? Hydroponics is the process of cultivating crops using water as a growing medium. We have the different means of uh, growing through hydroponics which are aeroponics, EBB and flow, and so much more. The project in which we are participating in now is called the Neutrophil Growing Method. The father of hydroponics is known as Frederick Gehrig. When he first discovered about hydroponics, the society at large and even his own colleagues didn't believe his claim. But he then shocked everyone by growing a 10 feet tall tomato vine in his backyard. Enough of the history. Now we have a main problem in our communities where fish farmers run their trade. 
We all know that the most challenging part of fish farming for fish farmers is the ability of disposing their fish water. So with a simple hydroponic system, that problem has been solved. So I thought, am I going to let this fish water into an all available sewer system? No. Or am I going to let this water in our street to pollute our environment? No. So I thought of a way I could let this fish water back to the fish pond where it came from. So with a simple purification system, which consists of sand, pebbles, charcoal, and cotton wool. I'm able to purify this wastewater into the water tank. But am I going to stop there? So I told that I could practice water conservation with the help of a self-made battery-powered motor-run pumping machine. You are seeing this wastewater is going back to the fish pond. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. is a great way of growing healthy plants. While it may seem fake, it presents all other benefits, which are it needs no soil, it practices water conservation, it reduces stress for the fish farmers because they'll be thinking of how to dispose their fish water. We all are coming from behind, thinking out of the box, trying to solve a mystery of being productive by using waste. And this mystery has been solved and this problem has been unraveled by Hydroponics Garden. Thank you. Ma, we also have another project, Styrofoam. As we all know, Styrofoam was safely banned in Lagos State by Governor Babajide Sao Onu, and we believe other governments are going to follow suit. But is banning it really the solution? No. What does Styrofoam offer? What are the dangers behind it? And what is the possible solution? Styrofoam, as we all know, also known as expanded polystyrene foam, is not biodegradable. It does not decompose over time. So it starts breaking down and produces a toxic substance called styrene that causes potential nervous system damage. So we are coming here as not a environmental activists, but as solution providers coming to our government to give them the solution we have found. There are two methods, there are two solutions to the styrofoam problem. Now, as you can see in our chat, the food sellers are asking the government, how are they going to sell their food? If you have placed a ban on styrofoam, how are they going to sell their food? Those who eat on transit are asking the government, what are they going to eat to carry their food? All these are solutions and issues that our government are facing. So we are here coming from two ways. The major issue is that it is not biodegradable. So we are telling the government how they can solve the issue of that non-biodegradable and instead of producing more, the alternative to styrofoam. So my teammate will tell you our alternative. Ever since the government of Lagos State has banned the use of styrofoam, other governments are actually going to follow suit. So we have found an alternative. We have made the code possible place, which is made up of cornstarch, vinegar, oil, and gum. This is not harmful to our health. As we all know, the styrofoam can also be used as gum. As you all know, the governor of Lagos State abandoned the styrofoam. So, so we decided to make this alternative. So, man, we have to ask you a question as our first lady. We believe you also facing the issue of the styrofoam problem and looking for a solution. So, we're asking you, will you come to us or rather you take up our solution? It's <laughs> <laughs> so marvelous to believe. I have to come here to see for myself and to ask them if it is their own original invention or they read about it on the internet and all that and came up with it. But they're telling me it's their own product. They talked about it, devices, and um, I'm just stunned and amazed. This is just too wonderful to believe. I mean, it's incredible. They make it for themselves, mixing in corn starch, vegetable oil, and vinegar. and vinegar. It's hard, so it's, it's more like organic. It's wholesome, it's not toxic to the environment and to the body. And one can actually work on this, develop it, and commercialize it as an organic, healthy alternative to food packages, packaging material. Conceived, invented by my own girl. Say it again. And the hydroponic, hydroponic thing too. They are, they are, they're, they're growing in. Uh, invented a way of, you know, you know, this is how they grow plants and things in countries like Singapore where there's small land and they are, they're, they're very um,
conscious about the environment and all that, and they encourage people to actually build gardens even on their walls. And these are children are already teaching us how to do it here. And um, they actually invented this themselves, and it's working. It's incredible. Awesome. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to you. And I'm sure that the government will be interested and his people too. Commissioner for Agriculture will, will engage you and help you develop this and make it a reality. Congratulations. God bless you to the end of Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I like. Um, what you're saying is a very beautiful project, but the, um, if I want to take you on the journey of the dirty work that made this place beautiful, you probably won't live here. But let me just acknowledge the good works of a few people. First, I'll start with the first lady. Uh, in the course of this, I had to ask her, did you study architecture at one point or the other? Because all the mistakes we didn't capture in the architectural drawing, she pointed out to us, we had working women. Um, like the PRO, the, the principal mentioned, we visited here, we turned up jeans trousers more than four or five occasions. We walked in here, we said, I need this to be I said, How did we miss it? Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Um, she also brought in her beauty of her love for art, and I'm sure you can see the uh, aesthetics, beautiful work. So thank you very much. Uh, one person that we cannot forget easily about this is the love of the God itself to see other people healthy. The checks rolled out almost immediately. So uh, on behalf of the us here, the students. I want to thank the SSD here for representing the governor. Please do take our thank you back to him. The checks rolled out to let you know that this project was called, was done in less than two and a half months. Mm. The SSD first lady said, "I need this project to be done for the for the 50th uh, anniversary." We worked on nights and days. Just unfortunate that you're not here at night. You see the lightning off. You think you are actually outside the country. Beautiful work that was done here. The street lights were all put up. And I recall some of the school girls that, old school girls that I interacted with, they said coming to the clinic used to be a nightmare. It was a narrow passage, dark alley. It seemed like you're going to a dungeon. I'm sure you wake up. When you get inside, you see what we have done. Um, too many, you know, ask people to mention here. But I remember the day the commissioner and I came here, it was raining. And he said, oh boy, let's go inside. Let's go and see what's going on. Thank you very much, sir, the commissioner for help. Um, the MD buildings, he unfortunately, had to run. He pushed, he pulled the whole of the agency to have this constructed. I cannot stop this remark without mentioning the contractor who did his work. Wonderful, wonderful man. Mr. Eric Ebosele, please stand up. You're, you're such a wonderful man. In, in building this, we became friends. I never knew him before. We just said, you know, we've got to do this. We needed somebody who can put boots on the foot on the on the on the ground, and his name popped up, and we had to do this. So it's a wonderful thing to see this open today. And to the staff of the agency, I say I'm working with one of the best staff that the state government can offer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, when we came here, 
we knew what we wanted to do. We knew the vision of the governor that our healthcare needs to get to everyone in the state. We looked at the population. This place can go for a primary health care center that covers this population. And so what you're going to see is a center that will provide promotive, preventive, curative, and some rehabilitative services according in a quality assured manner. No part of, of this will be spared. Um, quality will be assured. Our pharmacy, our laboratory, and the staff will continuously train to give quality to our children, believing that you can't impact knowledge in a body that is not sound. Mm. So there's a nexus between education and health. And if you do not recognize that you keep plugging the girl child or that child that you don't know book, you don't know book, not knowing that she's not well. And so this is the promise of the future. We've already seen them doing wonderful things. We want to uphold that and to horribly uh, continue to nurture them in good health. And so this is open to both parents and both and children within the um, college environment. So there's a wing for teachers and parents who are uh, parents and teachers who be in the in in, uh, in within the environment, and there's a wing for children as well. There's a laundry service that will take care of all the laundry needs. There's a laboratory, there's pharmacy, and there's a treatment room. I would not, um, I'll spare you the details. When you go inside, you see the great work that this wonderful woman has put together. So thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you for this wonderful dream. Um, we can't thank you enough. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Omosigo Zedeme, for those kind words and commitment to duty. Our next invites the chairman of the BOT. Ms. Ayono Ekoma Fatai Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, can you celebrate another great alumni of this institution? Thank you very much, and um, Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of the State, here represented, our very own First Lady, Your Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Betty Obateki. Please allow me to just carry on on the existing protocol. Um, it is with a heart full of joy and gratitude to the Most High God that I stand here on behalf of the Board of Trustees and all the old students of the Federal Government Girls College Benin to convey our heartfelt appreciation as we witness the commissioning of this primary health care center in fulfillment of a promise you made while we were planning our 50th anniversary celebration, a promise Fulfilled. Please let's clap for our excellency. We are extremely delighted and proud to have you as a pioneer student of our great alma mater, FGDC Benin, and as the current first lady of the state, especially at this very auspicious time when we continue to celebrate the 50th year of the founding of our school. Well, Your Excellency, we can only say thank you. Your audience today to formally commission this project with us. Despite your very busy schedule, is an attestation of the great love we all share for this awesome school. A love and a school that has played a great role in molding us into successful ladies, the successful ladies we are today. We are not surprised by your role in making this a reality, and this is in tandem with the focus of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Edo State, your very dear own husband. Dr. Godwin Obaseki, who, true to his name, will always be on the winning side, as God is the power behind the winning streak. So for those having male children, I think you might want to call them God Win. As this center is commissioned today, I pray that it will be a center that will lead to the well-being of the students, the school community, and all those connected to them in one way or another. As I conclude, I want to say a very big thank you to everyone in the State Primary Health Care Agency who made this possible, and in particular to the Executive Secretary who just spoke before me. Thank you very much, Doctor, and thank you to your team. Our prayers remain with you all.
as you put smiles on the faces of our children here, we pray that God will do the same for you and your team in Jesus' name. Finally, to our very dear classmates and all students of this great school, Dr. And Mrs. Betsy Obafaki, Your Excellency, we say thank you. Another big, big thank you. We can't thank you enough. And pray God's blessings upon your life. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Long live Edo State. And long live the Federal Government Girls College Benin. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Thank you very much, Madam Board of Trustee Chairman. Our two wonderful mommies will have to be to once again and benefit from their wealth of experience. First, the former Vice President, Mrs. Rose Omo. Ladies and gentlemen, please applaud her. I think that applause can be better. Your Excellency, the Governor of Vendors of Edo State. <laughs> yeah, that shows you how old I am. <laughs> Your Excellency, Dr. First Lady, Dr. Betsy Obasaki, I would like to stand up with this protocol. I am overwhelmed. Looking at Betsy, a little girl so many years ago, among all the other little girls that I taught, it's amazing to see her come this far. I'd like to remind people and some of my students that I'm actually an English teacher. I was an English teacher. So I'm going to draw some inspiration from literature. There's a poem, I'm sure you remember some of my girls bubbling, and splashing, and foaming, and dashing with noise and with bustle. The brook rushes by. But silent and slow does the deep river flow on its smooth, glassy bosom, reflecting the sky. Thus, shallow pretense, bubble down without sense, while true knowledge and wisdom sit silently by. Do you remember it, old girl? Bubbling and splashing and foaming and dancing. Now, it's only a poem. What are you? The brook? At the deep river. Are you just noisy? Making a lot of noise, making a lot of fuss, being seen everywhere. The action of words. Today, we witness action. We witness what human beings, human beings who are committed to their work, who want to leave a legacy, can do. I would like the present students to reflect on this poem that I've just read. Bubbling and flashing and making a lot of noise and then blowing gently, reflecting the sky. Reflecting the sky, making an impact, carrying people around with you, leaving footprints in the sand of time. We dream dreams. Sometimes it's illusions. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to the um, to, um, the church. But some people claim they see visions. But how do we actually make these things come to pass? 
When I came to Federal Government Girls College many years ago, I had the option of going from the ministry where I was um, assistant director, assistant, what was it called? I forgot what it was. It was the title in those days, just out of But my husband was appointed commissioner to Bendel State. And I was working in the ministry in Lagos. It meant that I had to move to, the, to Lagos. At first, he didn't think I could do because he thought it was a temporary appointment. You know, Governor Abaze Kaini, with the immediate effect, the appointment took place. And of course, with the immediate effect, the Maurice Salam Mohammed uh, school took place. And with the immediate effect, you can be brought up your position. So that was the dilemma. But I wanted to save my young family and I chose to come here. The obvious option at that time, given my position at the time, was to go to the inspectorate. But I chose to come to Federal Government Girls College to teach. My colleagues in the ministry were baffled. They couldn't believe that I could make that choice. I wanted to come to the back to classroom to a job I love. Having taught for the year in Queen's College and Methodist Girls High School before I moved to the ministry, I wanted to come back to the classroom to interact with students. As a firm believer in what the all teachers do in local parents, that is, that you are in place of parents as a teacher. That is to take any, every reasonable step to safeguard and take action on the students as though were their own parents. That was my passion. And it was a mutual passion because the girls were so sweet, they were so adorable, and they were so open to knowledge. And we all got to well together. I recall in those days, it is an hour to here now, and I would be here till about 10 p.m. trying to produce plays, trying to get the students to, to learn their verses and to take part in intercollegiate um, competitions, and the girls did very well. These girls that you are looking at here now, some of these functions, were very bright students, open to learning. They loved what they were doing. And it is this that is being reflected here today. Let's see, as I know her, has always been a very amiable, compassionate girl. She, 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 she's full of empathy. Mm. Very caring. And what you're seeing here today is just a reflection of a true undiluted character. Mm. The same way as she looks after you all, that's how she looks after her husband, uh, uh, Godwin, and after all of us. I'm like a mother to her, she's like a daughter to me. And my students, who I taught, are just like children, my own children. You need to see videos of what we were all doing yesterday. We were chatting, we were rolling on the floor, we were singing all the songs that we all learned together. A reflection of the way we built up ourselves. It was a learn, give and take situation. I was teaching them, nurturing them, and they were also ready to learn. And now, they have outgrown me, all of them. Look at them. Look at Betsy. I told her I'm her excellent. <laughs> and I was a teacher and I'm 84 now. <laughs> so I really thank God for my girls who have done so well, who have reached the top of their careers. I'm not going to tell you any of their names. If I tell you what the girls have achieved, it is overwhelming. 
you are only seeing what best is doing there. She just an example of all of them. And I want to say a huge tribute on behalf of all my girls. And in the words of Shakespeare, two gentlemen of Verona, who is still here? What is she? Time. Mm. If you know the song, sing along with me. Yeah. Who is Betsy? What is she? That all does win for me. Whispering from Mrs. Agnes, and now that she has spoken for both of us. <laughs> but I'm sure you want to hear a sentence from her too. Just a minute. Please applaud as she comes. The longest foundation set tutor. And of course, the wife of our former vice chancellor, the University of Benin. Yes. Please applaud her once again. Oh. After my senior has spoken, nothing except to say that I'm overwhelmed. I'm so happy. This is a school that I tended from the very beginning. And those good days, when I'm doing the long drive from JRA, after we moved to this call, it was all push, push, right from the saving matter. And at times I would care driving and going, you know, that along the lonely road. And the road that you are seeing now, was on track and almost impossible. We had to make that journey. And then there's a city. I had a daughter, late, her name was Ije. And when the children were ill and they are brought to my house, because we didn't have a clinic at all, that we could call a clinic, it was just a small room. And then my people in the house will say, at mommy, they got them a thing. You mean they got a thing? Mm -hmm. I named them all the girls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They say, it is in the hospital. They say, mommy, I'm not. I said, all the girls, they are my children. So I named them a thing. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can we give her another round of applause again, please? That's simply wonderful. And you can see the sacrifices that teachers go through. Driving those lonely roads. And today, the story is different. Those sacrifices paid off. Can we please applaud her again? It is my honor at this point to invite the goodwill message from the Secretary to the Government of Edo States, our Father and Leader, Osaradio Oge Esquire. Ladies and gentlemen, let me applaud the resounding for him. Okay. 
morning, everyone. Your Excellency, First Lady of the State. Let me stand on the existing protocol. When uh, our mother, Mrs. Cook, speaking, said she has spoken my mind, but when our mother came back and said, Do I still need to speak? I said, Well, she also spoke another aspect of what we didn't really know about the school. I want to say that uh, when Mrs. Omo was speaking, she talked about living good spirit, the sign of time. That word, that statement, touched me so. I remember when the old guest paid a visit to the governor at the beginning of the 50th uh, year anniversary. I was with Mr. God, Prince Roy Bible. And uh, the history of the school was told. And sitting down here listening to that answer, and the pupils acknowledging their founders and benefactors, I said, Well, living footprints in the sand of time. I will say again, what will we be remembered for? <laughs> Every time the first video of the state is having a program, that's coming to my mind, all will you be remembered for? This is one woman who all of us will remember her for especially her exceptional love for the gay child. Not just Federal Government Gays College, her passion for the gay child. Something I, I, anytime I see them, I look at her work for her life. So I know we talk too much. I want to thank the old guests. It's not, it's not every school that is lucky to have old guests like you. <laughs> and God bless you with an exceptional old girl that has passion for the guest child. So a combination of two uh, is the result of what we are seeing. I want to thank all of you, and I want to thank you for the support of Mr. Governor. You know, again, maybe because of Madame, I don't know. You know, it's love for the gay child also. It's something else. And uh, education and health care. Things like uh, Dr. Tom mentioned, that is so dear to us as a government. And putting this facility here, we are using it to meet two goals. I remember Miss our first lady inviting me to a program at Ubo, the telemedicine program and the PhD. As I sat down here again, I remember I said, this is the second time Madame is inviting me again to another health care facility. It is wonderful. I want to thank you. Our first lady, and to congratulate the old guests, and uh, how to congratulate the babies. As I sat down looking at them, I imagine what they will be in 20, 30, 40 years' time. These are the future of the country. And I want to thank the old guests for providing the inspiration. They need such inspiration to be able to do well. I thank you very much and I congratulate you. Oh, Mrs. Sobu and Mrs. Sanao, it is wonderful to be alive to see the product of your effort. I congratulate you. It's not everybody that is that lucky. Congratulations, ma'am. Thank you. Can we please applaud the uh, indefatigable secretary to the government of those states? Thank you very much for those kind words. With the permission of Our Excellency, the First Lady, I've been asked to invite the barrister, Mrs. Ulu Zamere, to say a word or two. Oldest old girl here today. Please applaud her. Your Excellency.
ma'am. As I call you, I always address you as my first lady. You reminded me about six years ago that um, being a foundation student of this school, we came in here in October 1973. You were in Form 1 and I was in Lower 6. So I was like six, seven years ahead. And you called me at an occasion and said, what is your name, please, ma'am? I said, I'm Mrs. Suzameri. She said, what is your maiden name, if I may ask? And I said, Amadi. And she screamed, this is Senior Ulo. <laughs> and she reminded me of how I used to take her hand. She was so little, little Betsy of Amakri. I used to take her hand to cross the road. She was that little. But today, she's my first lady. I am overwhelmed. I have goosebumps. Because I remember in secondary school, the seniors used to maltreat the junior ones. But God help you if you were trying to maltreat Betsy or Basiki. You were totally on your own. She had such self-will bottled up in that little body of hers. <laughs> you couldn't punish her. You, you will be the one to end up in the principal's office. And you will have to defend yourself as to why you wanted to maltreat her. Right from school days, she had so much drive. She had so much focus. She had so much willpower. She had so much vision as a little girl. So today I'm not at all surprised that we're standing here commissioning another thing that has been her vision. She's a visionary. When you talk about Godwin Obaseki, that is the power behind the throne. That is the engine room of the Edo State government. They might say there is no place for first ladies in the constitution, but we see that the first ladies are the ones running things. And in Edo State, Dr. Mrs. Betsy Obaseki is running things. And we're seeing a true manifestation of all that she's running. This is just a piece of what she's doing. When we look around the state, we see her imprimatur on almost everything. I remember when the, the center, Daisy Danjuma Women's Center, the shelter for the battered woman, you will doff your hat for Betsy or Basiki, a place where returnee women, trafficked women are put, people that are suffering from gender-based violence, all kinds of things. That's the one-stop shop, the brainchild of my doctor, my first lady, Betsy Obaseki. I thank you for all you are doing for the people of this state. I remember you as that bubbly little girl, not the no noisy brook, but the river running deep. Mama Omo, I also read English as a first degree before I went on to read law. So I'm so um, touched by that poem, which you must forward to me. This is our river running trip. I present to you the visionary, par excellence, Dr. Mrs. Betsy Obaseke, my very own first lady. Congratulations, ma'am. We love you, we love you, we love you. And we walk tall that we're all old girls, or in my case, an ancestor <laughs> of Federal Government Girls College. Thank you, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, can you please applaud this evergreen? You can see the heel, you can see the eyelash, you can see everything still intact. They don't play with women. And those who need education are extra gifted. They never really grow old. Ladies and gentlemen, history is about being made again today. 
as I have the honor to invite to speak Our Excellency, the Vision Bureau, Dr. Betsy of Basaki. First Lady of those States, shall we all please be upstanding with the music rent in the air as we welcome the mother of the door to give her speech at this very historic moment. Please, can I make some noise? Thank you so much. Wow. This day has turned out more wonderful than I had envisioned. Oh my goodness. Um, I want to let me just just stop. It's supposed to be a speech here. Forget about that one. <laughs> um, I just want to thank God for a wonderful day. Last night my my um, foundation colleagues who came from Lagos um, are staying with us. We had this unusual rainfall that just came and then we said, ah, we don't want rain today. Let us have, let us pray tonight. We said, this one is a prayer point for this night. My God should give us good weather. See, so much sun, beautiful weather. So we thank him for his love and his presence with us always. I want to thank and appreciate everyone here. Let me first start by acknowledging you one, one, the Secretary to the State Government, representing the Governor and representing himself. He is my, as you notice, is my partner when we are going to commission things like this. So I didn't invite everybody in government. So I even forgot to invite the Commissioner for Health. I want to beg you to go. I just thought, uh, uh, the PhD is different from Minister of Health. I should have had you in this program. My deep apologies. Pardon me, but I'm so glad you came. God bless you. I only picked a few people. You know, not that everybody isn't important and valuable, but I didn't want to disturb people working, but uh, people who are working are critical to this my movement. SSG is one, Puerto is another. And uh, my mom and Mrs. Ian the special advisor to the governor. My Madam Blackie, market woman leader, Ada Kweki. Then the John who is in the area, I salute you all, I said they must invite you. Madam Blackie, you and your women, I greet you all. And um, the Commissioner of Education, who is represented here, she's out of town. Thank you for coming. You are the permanent secretary, right? Okay, you heard it long title. Um, yes, yeah, so who else have I left out? I want to greet you all. My oh, former permanent secretary, um, Mrs. Olatunji. I told her in and out of government who, who should be dragged along. Um, and there, Mami Ejimura, who led us in prayers, the vice chair of. Um, of their notice. By the way, I was going to ask you, I don't know which local government this one is. Okay, I thought it was of there. Anyway, thank you for representing the chairman, chair, uh, vice chairs, all over I do. And all of my, Mrs. Oviasu, a strong PDP chief team, I can say all that. I greet every one of you. The chairman of the Sports Commission, my own, and Mr. Ali Yusuf. I acknowledge every one of you here in government. I may not see you. the sun is too much, so I'm wearing dark glasses. And um, before I now come back to Miss Dr. Omo, who spoke here, the Executive Secretary of the Primary Health um, Care Agency, he forgot to tell us that the government has taken the decision to to change the word primary health centers, the primary health care centers, to so now clinics. So that's why this it's now called the FDGC clinic. This is a recent development. So they are changing them all from PhDs to clinics. And because they say the word primary kind of derogates the health, it brings it to like a ground level. But you can see the PhDs in Edo State are world class. They've got every one of them that they're building or publishing have proper complement um, full complement of staff or doctor at least and nurses. They also have um, solar panels to give 24 hour solar um, and electricity all over the state. They've got the bubble to make sure there's water. 
They have a um, computer run by computer, so anyone who comes in there will have their data in, and there's a, a state data um, base where they all go into. So if you attend this clinic today, you go to um, 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 a do center tomorrow and attend another one. All they do is pull up your your name, and all of the details come out. That, that's the way it is in Edo State. There's nothing like this anywhere in the country. So that's the quality of what you have here. The solar panels are coming later. They're putting the panels. Um, so we decided to name ours in Edo State, different from what they do in Nigeria. These are proper clinics. Um, so I want to especially acknowledge and thank you. He was going on and on about me, but he was the one who was here physically um, to perform work. And I was the one who also chose the contractor who was given to me by the commissioner for then she was commissioner for what were you doing? <laughs> EDPA and you are all the good contractors. This is Isoke Omo. Now commissioner for physical plan, sorry, if you're watching the titles. So she gave me Mr. Eric Ebozele, please stand up. She had given it to me once when I wanted to build a house or renovating a house for the late Senator Frank Afegua, a woman who um, broke a world record and unknown to many Nigerians as the first black elected senator in the whole wide world. An adult woman. When I got to know about that, I said, no, this woman must be recognized by her states, adulated by them, and, and you know, honored. And so I spoke to the governor and, and he graciously donated a house to her, blah, blah, blah. I was looking for someone to renovate it and his name was given to me and he did such a marvelous job. Just, you know, effortlessly and he gives his all. So I was looking for someone to do this thing very quickly and he was the only one I, can, I could think of as a contractor. And he did not disappoint us. He came, he didn't wait for government to give him a penny. He used his own money to build this thing, you know. Um, um, to be paid later. There are very few people who will do that. So I said, you must be here, and I must honor and commend you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Even the electrification work, because when it was our 50th anniversary, and the school came with their asks, because they happened to have an, an old guy who was a, 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 a governor's wife. God just, just showed me mess. So I decided to 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 do something and then i looked at the list and i picked the items that i reckon were more meaningful and would touch and impact the lives of the girls and even the teachers much more than all of the other things so i chose the electrification of the school compound they didn't have speed lights and um and then the rebuilding expansion and modernization of the Sick bay, it was called, to upgrade it to a full-fledged PHC at the time when we conceived it. So that's what we have here. What you're seeing here is about uh, what was there before was less than half of what you're seeing here. Um, so those are the two projects I, I embarked on. And this same man, Latrico, Mr. Bozale, even used his money to pay the contractor that was to do the lights. Before, you know, government takes them before they get money. He did, brought his own money, built this thing, gave his money to the other, other light contractor to put the lights because I wanted that done before the, the um, um, uh, ceremonies. So I really thank thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope that the state government officials are here. And that's you are here. We are looking for a reliable contractor. Even when we leave as government. As government. When we leave. Yeah. When we leave as government. After we leave as government. I hope SSG, you are going to. I've spoken in parables. Yeah. 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 And you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pastor and a prophet. Yeah. A prophet yeah. uh, and before things happen, God shows them. Yeah. And it is only what God shows me that I believe in, that I, 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 I follow. And I know I'm trapped. It's perfect. Because anything that God has not shown, God is not in, the sun is not in, will not succeed. It is the one that God's hand is in. Whether you like it or not, if you are wise, anything that God says this is the way you should go, you better follow. The pastor key is a living witness. He came by the hand of God, 
They fought him that he wasn't a politician, he's a technocrat, he's da 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 Now he's, he's teaching them politics. <laughs> and how to play Politically. Good to the people, bringing development, bringing governance, and cleaning, cleansing the political space to make politics the way it ought to be. The way it is played the last times. Because the way that we play politics in our country that has brought us to where we are today. We allow those who want to know crooks and thugs to enter the politics. They occupy the space. Civilized and decent people like you and me don't get a space. And so they complain, oh, Nigeria is this, Nigeria is that. When you, who is decent, you don't want to enter the politics to take power, to do good. So, Abbasaki is sending the, um, 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 showing the example. He came from the private sector, civilized, educated man, highly educated, highly capable, experienced, guru in financial engineering, economics, and everything good, from a solid background, exposed with the history of the lineage of, of great men and rulers, and his grandfather and great grandfather were the biggest politicians in the Midwest region in those days. Which talk? He not agreed to come and run. He didn't want to run before because of the way all of you see. Oh, politics is a filthy place. Let him go and go. Blah blah. But thank God, God pulled him in. He took him out to show Nigerians how to play politics, how to do good governance, so that other people like him will not be interested when they see the difference and the impact. That is why a man like Asu Egodalu. Twin brother, oh, God. is now coming after him. Whether oh, they like him for me. Oh, God said it. I keep telling people, all I know is what God says. You may like the person, you may not like the person. Like they did not like the person, but God brought him. They fought him, but God stood with him. Made him to succeed on top of their heads. So, as soon as God is coming, I don't know like it or not. God has given him a deputy. Who I know? As I was there when God spoke. Even the deputy I don't know. I did not tell him. I was there when God spoke. And God spoke about it to me over a year ago. I kept it to myself. Until the time appointed. The time appointed has come. As we already know, the deputy does not look. Him. <laughs> but he will soon look. So therefore, <laughs> when you are looking for good contractors, I don't want to hear after we've left that oh, the people who don't give you work again. A while is enough for the wife. Hey. And like they say, ka, ka chine, chine ke mezo, and I've spoken in parable. God be praised. So I want to thank God for everything, and I want to especially Mrs. Omu was the vice principal. She was first uh, English and I believe literature teacher when we were, and she later on became our vice principal. Um, she lives in England, so she's here for this event. She the last time she was here was four years ago when she was eighty. Now she's eighty-four, going on eighty-five. I can't believe it. So I said to her, we are going to honor her with this commission and for her to be here physically. Mrs. Anao and Mrs. Omo are like twin to us foundation set students. Mrs. Anao was the first teacher that got employed into the school with the principal at the time, Ms. Dr. Wal, then woman. And she was also an English and literature teacher, I believe, so they taught the same subjects. And they were beloved two most beloved teachers and we're thanking God for keeping them alive and well all of these years. Both of them married to professors. One, her husband was Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Omu when we were here, he was Bend of State in those days. The other, her husband was the, not too long ago, uh, Professor Nao, Vice Principal of the uh, University of Benin. So these are no mean women. So, so you're not surprised the way we've turned out. These are the kind of women teachers we have. In those good old days, hmm? she wrote our uh, school anthem, and I said it here, and I'm saying it again. I told the principal, Let me know here that they changed that anthem. I put it in this brochure 
You do not do things like that. All of you old students, I hope this big, um, 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 video will go viral. Let put it on all your class platforms, old girls. Let us foundation students not hear anybody coming to change this answer. I gave you our when I mentioned it at the university, some people were making some annoying comments. They are ignorant people because if you know what it means to 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 leave legacy and what it means, the value of education is is about it, it you retain tradition, cool traditions. Schools like Queen's College, I gave the example, I've got two older sisters who attended Queen's College. One of them is 70. She told me how she went to an old girls as a, 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 an event. And the school and was the one that they had when she was in school. Perhaps 60, 65 years ago or 60 something years ago. Nothing changes. King's College the same. Good schools around the world. Nobody changes their school anthem. We come to Nigeria and people do all nonsense. That is why our country is where it is. How will children know they are talking about our benefactors? You forget your benefactors. It was a benefactor who wrote that anthem for you. You forget about we, in our national anthem we say that the labor of our heroes passed. How will you know what your heroes past did if you don't retain history and you don't retain tradition and culture and continue in that path? When society is just deteriorating all over the place, you need to go back to your roots. Go back to those ancient days where the world was decent and people were honorable and full of integrity. And who come, who come to, to, to that? To be able to find a good path in life and become a, 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 a human being instead of what we see in our country. So let us know here. And we told you, we the foundation students are the owners of the school. Hey! Okay, so yeah. you cannot do without us, and you must always listen to what we say if you want it to be good for you. Tell us in the club of foundation students you want, you, I mean, uh, old girls you have. Look at one laughing and smiling there. Stand up. <laughs> She's a permanent secretary in this government, Barbara. She went to this school. You saw where's me, Lord? Sitting next to her. Stand up. She's a judge in a state government, Premier of this school. And then Mrs. Fatai Williams, stand up. Stand up. She is the chairman of the um, board of trustees, and you know who she is. You have heard about that famous um, um, nigga, my father. She's she's her, her she's she's his uh, daughter-in-law. That's number one. Number two, this woman was the um, the, the most senior female executive of the Nigeria National uh, Natural LNG in Nigeria. First, most senior female. She only just retired. The most senior female in LNG from this school. I can go on Mrs. Omu's niece. Um, Elo. She works in Shell. Two times, uh, uh, director of Shell. She's an old girl. Many of them, doctors, all of you here. Um, uh, if you, uh, Grace, stand up. This one is a finance co 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 consultant and guru. Stand up, if you. Grace, all of them. Lawyers, doctors, pharmacists, engineers, doing wonderful things. You don't want to be like them. And you don't you are not happy you have people like this to guide you, to befriend you, to mentor you, to lead you and show you the way. You want to be there and tell us your 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 fucking answer is better than ours. This is the new answer. I don't want to hear that you changed. Mr. Gado, you were saying at your our fifth anniversary that you wish uh, 50, this fifty fifth anniversary will not end. And uh, because the old girls are bringing do better, better things to the school. So you collect the better things and you annoy us. Okay, you can't tell me. Tell us, all of these students, any principal that comes after me, they don't want them. If we're here, we will start coming to support you. Don't think that this is the last thing you'll do. We'll keep supporting you if you hear yourselves. Return our anthem, appreciate and value your benefactors. Look at the vice principal who wrote the answer. No, you don't even know. Even Mr. Agade doesn't know. We will have to come close and be mentoring all of you principals and teachers in this school from now on. It is true. We left you and we went on top and we will blame ourselves. We will hold you tight and be dragging you along anywhere you go. To make sure that you are going to God bless you. So, we are doing this in honor of our teachers from the foundation set. This is Anawa and this is Omu. It is in their honor that we are doing this commissioning today.
They are the ones who brought us up. They are the ones who God used to mold me to become a first lady today. If they didn't do that, if I didn't have good education, nurturing teachers like them, I wouldn't have passed the exams to the level that I got, found myself in a place where I met my husband, who God now became made governor. Are you hearing me? Yes. I would have fallen by the roadside and gone somewhere else. I might have met the man because I met me on my job, a highly placed organization in this country. And that's because I did well as a student and as a human being. If I didn't have them nurture me, teach me, I wouldn't have gotten there and I wouldn't have met him. I wouldn't be here and won't have this place. So we are celebrating them and all of our good teachers of those times. And we, we remember those who have gone um, to be with the Lord. Um, we just want to use this time to thank God for bringing us to the school. We are such proud students of the Federal Government Girls College in Institute. We will forever be proud of our school. We always felt that our school was the best when we were here. We always felt that we were the most pampered, most loved, most nurtured, um, 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 best trained students when we were here. We really had a chip over, you know, on our shoulders at the time. Even better, our worry. We used to look down on them. Yes. We used to win every competition everywhere we went to. So we were the best. And I want you to continue in that path and be the best. You're doing great things. That's why I'm excited and happy. Continue to be great. All of you have been current and those coming. You continue to trail the blaze and be the best in the country. Become great women eh? and um, um, impactful human beings to your community, your society, to your states, and to our nation. It's what I declare upon your lives. Yeah. I want to thank every one of you for coming and for being so patient and joining us to celebrate this occasion. I don't take we don't take it for granted. Thank you so much for your time. Every one of you. God bless you all. Um, I want to just quickly beg your indulgence. We have a little ceremony. The Old Girls Association of Edo State has not been they were not they will exist and then they, 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 they died. So we want to resurrect them today. Because this thing is happening today. We are doing the 50th anniversary. This is all part of the and celebrations. And in a place where the school exists, in the state where the school exists and the old girls of the state, they are the old girls in the different states doing well. So that today we must inaugurate them. And we are proud to say that we have an old girl who is a judge in the state who is here, who is going to read the oath out to them. So I want to call on the chairman of the um, board of trustees to come and quickly um, arrange. Um, the proceedings, and soon after that, we'll now go in to inspect the food for the plate, cut the cake, and we'll be out of here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. okay, thank you very much. We'll make this really quick, uh, short, and uh, quick and snappy. So, um, the Benin City chapter of our alumni association existed. Very sadly, in I think it was 2022, we lost the president of the association, Ife Inwa Okoyue. Um, lovely, I think that threw us into a sort of abyss, and the association sort of um, went into a coma, just stayed there. But today, we want to go a notch higher to inaugurate the Edo State chapter, not just the Benin City chapter. The executives will inaugurate this afternoon um, will be uh, a caretaker executive one year tenor and in that one year tenor they will please convene the girls revive the association and hold free and fair elections to um, nominate or to elect the executive that will then take the association forward based on the constitution of the old girls association of the Federal Government Girls College Benin. So I'd like to very quickly call out uh, Grace, a foundation member and the representative of uh, the 50th Anniversary Committee, to please call out the, the girls who will be the caretaker executive committee and our very own Justice, Honorable Justice Mary Iswani will administer the oath of office. Thank you. Thank you, Enyo. Without uh, much ado, 
would like to start by inviting uh, our neighbor, go-to person, lady, very reliable, holding forth for the foundation and everything in the name. And uh, in 1981 graduate, she was in Amina at the time. She retired as the principal director. Make welcome, Mrs. Ninka Akenoba. Can we grab my hands for her? She has held forth very, very well. I'm sure the principal can attest to that. Well done, Ninka. So now we'll just quickly call all the rest. The, uh, Vice President Ufoma Ehimeka, please join her, a modern house, graduate of 1994. Quickly, we call on the next person, Deborah Jue, 2004 graduate, Jaja House at the time, and a graphic designer. No, sorry, she's an architect. Chorosin. Sorry, please. Assistant Secretary Jasmine, please can you join? We are just trying to make it as fast so that we don't delay it. Uh, the Treasurer Mary, Mary Dede, also Amina House Deputy Director, Mr. Director of the name, Financial Secretary Yomosa. This is Yobosa here. Please join the Welfare Officer. Joy. Amade. She seems to be enjoying popularity there. <laughs> uh, joy to a makeup artist and um, Moreni House at the time, a graduate of 2020. Public Relations Officer. Can we have Oman, please? Oman, 2004 graduate. Eweka House, like myself. So, welcome. Eweka House, that's my personal person, as I was also in Eweka House at the time. I wonder if Eweka House still exists. We still have to address that. <laughs> and then finally, last but not the least, is the social secretary, Imade. Please join us here. <laughs> Imade is a 1990 graduate, a motor house at the time. Thank you for your time. Let's hand over to just. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much, and um, thank you for this opportunity of administering the oath of office. Incidentally, I'm wearing two caps today. I'm supposed to be a member of the executive, so um, I think you're holding the Bible. Can you put your hand on each person's shoulder? As I read the oath, I want you to repeat after me. The first space is for your name, and then the second one is for your position. Okay, we'll start now. I do solemnly and sincerely swear that I will truly and faithfully to the best of my skill and knowledge execute the powers and trust reposed in me as of the Fed Government Girls College Old Students Associate, no branch, so help me God. Thank you, congratulations. Can we take a quick photograph, please? Please, can the first lady join us in the photograph? Thank you, ma'am.
Uh, Excellency, for granting this window. When this matter came up, one of our very senior officers, like has been said time and again, our old girls are doing well in many places. She is one of the very senior officers in MTN Nigeria, and she is an old girl, 1988. Uh, one of our class scholars, I'm sure, I call her name, and you know her, Gomwa Oye of the 1988 set. She graciously um, facilitated this. So they want to donate 15 desktop computers for the school. They will. They were not too sure whether it's the ICT center or the library. The idea is that the students should be able to use it, maybe to practice for CBT type exams and generally have idea of using computers in real life. You know, a lot of computer learning by theory does not work. If you learn computers by reason of use, then it can make an impact. So this is to contribute to that, that let there be a hands-on learning. Incidentally, I'm a graduate of computer science, so I'm speaking from practical experience. You have to learn computers by reason of using it. So the 15 computers goes to the college for the library or the uh, ICT center. I think the principal will be able to take, make that determination so that the student can access it. Then the 10 tablets they made available are to be split. Because we want to save time, I don't know whether I should read the names of the recipients. Or... So we, the thought is that we'll give it to the best student in maths and the best student in English, one each in each of the last set, because now they are, I think they are in second term, so previous year, so people that were in GS1 last year, who are presently in GS2, then GS2 last year, who are presently in GS3, just following like that. Therefore, the present GS1 are not involved, and the already graduated SS3 are not involved. So. The people calling now, you will say, we will say it's the best person in maths for this one, but they are presently in jail. So I think you understand what we mean by that. Ade Ionju, Olua Sami, Deborah, JS1 is the best position in mathematics. I don't know whether we are immediately making the presentation. The idea was that I should call them. Jasmine, do we make the presentation? Okay, so let me just call out the other names. They will make it just one token. And start there the symbolically. So the others are ORA, SOE, That is. Sorry, uh, that's. Okay, sorry. Yeah. The second person is Adeyanju. Yeah. Okay, what happened was that we had to take a decision because Deborah, incidentally, is first in maths and first in English. So I think it's necessary to acknowledge her. But because they are tablets, and we thought, okay, what well, should we do with two tablets? So let's give the second tablet to the person that was second. So that is where. ORA and so he made all the comes in. So take the second tablet because Deborah takes that. So we have Organovo, Emila, Elviore. Okay, that is the second person in English, so she is not involved. Agedo Dani Daniela is the first in mathematics in JS. Then Akabosu Latesia in English. Then Igile Kari Iwinosa is first in for present GS2. Otari Favor is first. Sorry. Igile Kari Iwinosa is first in English. And then Akere Osorume Kenidra. Is first in mass for JS3, which is present as S1. Then Okudubo Joy is first in English. Bob Manuel Glory Lolia is first in the present SS2. And then Eholo Favor Osaru is first in English. 
So we will go out and make the distribution, but we thought it was necessary to acknowledge them for this great progress. Thank you very much. The BOT chairman is already making the presentation. Can you cheer them all? This is amazing. A tablet from each of you for being best in math and best in English. And the one who is best in math and also best in English would have had a double and decide what to do with it. I think she can take her case to the tribunal. <laughs> Assume it was money. Will you not say when she was writing those exams, she didn't know she was going to win anything. So why will you take her position because she is blessed? The rich are getting so it's not a crime. Don't you think it would make sense? So she can decide to give her younger one, or give her father, or give her mother. So please, they need to reconsider that. It's a double honor. It's a double honor. It's a double honor. And you know, excellence will always stand for the girl child. You cannot present the girl child when person your person can see that. Is it her kind that she took best in math and took best in English? So the principal, please look into that. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. For history to be made. Uh, before then, I'd like to announce that instead of in to inspect and come back to sit, we just conclude so that after inspection, you just go with your parts. And so I'd like to invite the head girl to give the vote of thanks. Ihile Christabel. Can you put your hands together for her? A speech delivered by the head girl, on the occasion of the commissioning of the school's clinic in Federal Government Girls College in the city, held in front of the school state of the art clinic. The chairperson of this occasion, Our Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Betsy Obasi, the Amiable Director Principal, the Secretary to the State Government, Mr. Osarodian Ogi Esquire. The invited guest of honor, the Old Girls Association, the vice principals, all protocols duly observed, the members of staff, my fellow students, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am truly honored and grateful to stand before you today as a head girl of our esteemed school, Federal Government Girls College, Benin to deliver a note of thanks on this momentous occasion of the commissioning of our school's clinic. First and foremost, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to Her Excellency, the First Lady, Dr. Mrs. Betsy Obasik, for recognizing the critical need for improving the school system to a world-class school clinic within our school premises. The health and well-being of our students are of utmost importance, and this clinic will undoubtedly serve as a sanctuary for those in need of medical attention. Your unwavering commitment to providing the best facility for our students is truly commendable. <coughs> I would also like to state, as well as extend my sincere thanks medical practitioners and staff who will be working tirelessly to ensure the smooth functioning of the clinic. Your dedication to the well-being of our students and your unwavering support in times of need are truly an inspiration to us all. To our principal, teachers and staff, thank you for your continuous support and dedication to the support of our students. Your unwavering commitment to our education and well-being does not go unnoticed. And we are truly grateful for all that you do. Last but not the least, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to my fellow students. Your enthusiasm and positivity have played a significant role in making this day a success. I have no doubt that the clinic will be a place of comfort and solace for those in need. Thanks for your support and cooperation. In conclusion, I would like to thank each and every one of you for your presence here today and for your immense support in making this day a memorable one. Let us all come together 
to ensure the success and well-being of our school communities. And I pray that may the school clinic serve as a beacon of hope and healing for all who enters its doors. Amen. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, because of time, just to let you know that there's another presentation that is here. On your way going to the commissioning, you can inspect. They have a wonderful work here, converting waste to electricity. Can you applaud that? Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to invite our very distinguished guests to the official commissioning and cutting of the tape of this amazing edifice, the launch of the Frederick Gobekets College Clinic Benin City by Excellency Betsy Obasaki on this fourth day of March. 2024. Can you make some noise? Jay, let the music play on. Amazing God, you always come through for me. Amazing God, amazing God, amazing God, you always. And Executive Secretary, the Honorable Commissioner for Helpless. Foundation Fest in honor of our benefactors, our wonderful teachers, Frank and Miguel, Mrs. Rose Omu, and Mrs. Agnes Andao, on behalf of the Foundation Fest and the entire alumni of the Federal mm -hmm. Girls College. And um, gratitude for our life and also the district government, the governor and his uh, cabinet who um, approved this expansion, innovation, and taking the proper health clinic there in the school um, to support the 50th anniversary celebration of the great school. They, as um, alumni, are um, the whole thing that this. Clinic will become to continue to be a sort of pride and joy to us, and also um, continue to be a center for for the promotion of health and well-being of the young children of Castle and the Castle We we also um, expect that our work as alumni um, will continue to promote. Um, education and health for our young people in this state and around our country. And so to the prayer of God, we thank you God, and in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we commission and open the FGTC clinic in English.
This federal government gets college lady was expanded and integrated courtesy by SNC to Mexico to commission by his excellency Governor Godwin Roger as a university. Today the first day of March 2024. Yeah. It's only the specified personalities who are invited inside the so this, where, where you're entering now is the reception area, the waiting area. And then you find, as you come in, you find the last ticket here to register the ticket in a electronic medical record system, which is already put in here. So it means that your record here will be synchronized with the record of, with the health record of the state. You will then carry a state from my healthcare card, which makes um, your health, you can access your health from any part of the state if you have that card. So if that's what you do here, on your equipment, you then sit down, that would be easy to keep you. Uh, earlier on, we heard that children used to stay outside, so we now have a state or conveyor conditions. Yeah, yes, so it's so it's walking because of the time. So you have a cool place to wait Why? We are sent to you. We will go back there. That's the next point of call if you came in. If you permit me. So you will be called in here. This is called God's room. Excellent. This is called God's room. Yes, the button to press your uh, is your thermoscope. This is your oh, sorry, this is your, this is your Autoscope and again, you can check all this one. Yeah. And then this to check your blood pressure as well. Thank you. And then they are disposable. Once you use, you discard. You don't use it twice. So these are the things we put in place. For the doctor, you have the convenience here. Uh, if you may use the washroom in case the doctor needs to use the doctor needs to use the washroom. Uh, the last point will be the treatment group, which is just added from here. After that, taking treatment group. So this is the treatment room with the screen and everything here. Uh, so we take blood samples here. And uh, the minor treatment injections or a wound is also serve as the like a mini, a mini emergency room to specialize patients before they leave. So this is what we do here. The next point is the pharmacy. And then, yes. We need to subsequently all these are networked. Once the doctor prescribes, the pharmacy technician will see whatever the doctor has prescribed here. You just need to wait out and dispense some medicine. These are the drugs here. Again, we, we do have. We 
do have convenience for the pharmacy technician that will be interested here, so that in case you need to use the washroom, you don't need to go out. Here, what that's what you find here. All all the computer systems are not work. There's no paper. We we stop using paper. Right? Um, no government. Paperless. Paperless. September last year. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, 
So on the other side now, the, the second word, and this is the word of uh, And it's well fitted with, with a washing machine and a dryer. Well done, the shelf. No, that, no, the shelf is coming in. So this is the washing machine and that's the dryer. So every, the full clinic, everything, everything is in here. So there's going to be a linen rack here where you just put the linen. And with that, you have to Thank everyone again, and um, our prayer is that this clinic will be maintained by the principal and her staff, and the staff that the government of health will send the doctor and nurses, pharmacists that will be posted here. I uh, want to in advance commend them and um, implore them to to know that they're in a special environment. This is not a regular clinic or PhD there here um, to look at a young little children and so they should come with empathy and more tenderness to, to um, help us nurture these children. Um, so thank you again everyone. So lunch packs coming on the way for everyone here, the students and for all of us guys. I um, and for us to go and a bit for those who can uh, and what to send us to you. I want to thank you. I forgot to acknowledge the speaker's wife. I remember in my school. So I want to thank this is our number three, number two man in the school. Um current. <laughs> so thank you so much, everyone, and you for coming. God bless you all. Um is there anything else? Yes, sir. Our Excellency, 
the first lady of Edo State, Dr. Mrs. Bessie Obaseki, the SSG to the state government, Barrister Osarodion Ugi. All the dignitaries that are here present. On behalf of my director principal, Mrs. Osamudi Ame Agedo, I want to say a big thank you to Her Excellency for a visit for the commissioning of our clinic. We are indeed very, very grateful and we are making a promise that we will make the best use of this facility to the glory and praise of his name. Once again, on behalf of my director, I say thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Ma